to this series of five lessons on the cage system with Augustine Barrios's fantastic piece, La Sabias. My name is Rain Yoster, and these lessons are taken from a book I have just finished called The Bees Caged. It is available on print on demand in Amazon and in e-reader format, so your pick. Let's dive in. Lesson two, A shape. Pages 11 and 12 out of the book and bars 6, 28 and 30 of Las Abias. A shape. Right, A shape in F major is here at the 8th fret. And remember that it is related to the open string A position. First finger takes over the roll of the nut, and then that slowly gets transposed up to F major again. So that's the chord. Let's take a look at the pentatonic and the diatonic scales. A shape, pentatonics. 2 4. 2 4. 1 4. 1 4. 2 4. 2 4. Diatonics, 2 4. 1 2 4. 1 2 4. 1 3 4. Shift forward, 1 3 4. 1 3. Diatonic extensions. One, two, four with a stretch. One, two, four. One, two, four. One, three, four. One, three, four. One. You can either do that with a slide or a stretch and then a slide. Diatonic extension of the A shape can be extended outwards. Alright, so that is A shape at the 8th fret in the key of F major. And again, it mirrors exactly what happens in the key of C. So here is your pentatonics. And here are your diatonics. All based on this chord. That said and done, all the scales said and done, Barrios actually doesn't use this position very often in F major. What he does though is he uses the open A position. Alright, and I'll explain why in a minute. So open A, and if again, if we take over the roll of the nut and then transpose that up an octave, you get A at the 12th fret. And with that in mind, you put, you put your pentatonics in. see the two notes C sharp and F sharp are not going to fit in if we do it down here so we're going to have to put the F sharp and the C sharp here so in essence the bottom and the top of the pentatonic shapes or the, the, the A shape are fine a shape in La Sabias is really a hybrid shape, and it's a hybrid shape in A on the A chord of those two. A shape and G shape, which is what Barrios exploits wonderfully. Hi, welcome to Music in Focus for the A shape. The A shape sits on bars 6, 28, and 30, and it is Barrios instigating a strong 5-1 through borrowing from the parallel major key of D major. Why? Well, D minor doesn't have a C sharp, so it doesn't have a strong five chord, so Barris is borrowing the five chord from D major. And here's what it would sound like if he did. 
complete the cadence. Now bar six, he doesn't cadence, he goes to D, so it's a, a five move again, but it's a dominant seventh chord. And then bars 28 and 30, he moves from the A major to the two chord, or the E minor seven flat five. So here are those two moves. Bar six goes up to here. which is your D7, which should go to here, but doesn't. And bars 28 and 30, they do this. To the E minor 7 chord. So that's a little bit of the theory out the way and what Barris is doing theoretically wise. Guitar wise, we have a classic 19th century guitar move. Open A to hammer on into the C sharp, down the arpeggio, into the fifth of the chord and then up back up to the root here for bar six and then bars 28 and 30 he's on a suspended fourth it's got that wonderful loss quality to it and again i have pointed this out this is a hybrid position we have a shape and g shape together, mainly because of the open strings in the position. So Barrios uses half of A shape into the sort of bottom half of the G and then up at bar six. And then here we have the suspended fourth, which is more of an A shape. Alrighty, and that's the A shape music and focus in a nutshell. Alrighty, that's it for this lesson. Hopefully you find that informative and helpful. Uh, remember this is available now on Amazon, print on demand or e-reader, The Bees Caged by myself. If you did like the video and you're currently watching it on YouTube and you'd prefer to keep a copy, I am giving these away free as a download on my site, which is www.rainyurster.com, link now. Head over, sign up, and grab your copy. It's that simple. I'll bundle it up in a zip file, and you can download it and watch it to your heart's content. There will be the five lessons, but I'm also doing an extra sixth lesson, which is the cage system in C. Basically, that's going to be the basics of the cage system and how they relate to the fretboard. So if you're still not up to speed on that, it's worthwhile having. But like I said, it's free. Thank you for watching. If there's anything I missed out or you feel... Uh, the need to make a comment, do it down below.